there was a mother in the ninth month of her pregnancy in Korea driving alone through winter storm. The temperature was freezing, but the car got stuck in the middle of the bridge. And after the ga car got stuck in the middle of the bridge, she started to bleed because she was ready to give birth. She was alone in the car and it was freezing cold. <clears throat> as soon as the baby was out, the mother saw that the baby was trembling because of the extreme cold. So she removed her sweater, she removed her jacket and covered it and used it to cover the baby. But the baby was still trembling, so she completely undressed herself, including her thermal wear, so that the baby would keep warm. But eventually, it was the mother's turn to tremble, and after a few hours of trembling in the winter, the mother died. The following morning, a missionary sister passed by and saw the car now drenched in snow and put, peeped into the car and saw the naked body of the mother still bloodied from childbirth and the baby crying. They could not understand what happened until the police said the mother died of extreme cold around three hours before she was found. So the baby was cared for by the sisters. And as soon as the baby could understand, the sisters told him all the time, We found you in the middle of the bridge. It was winter storm. Your mother undressed herself so that you could still keep warm. But your mother died. When Michael, the boy, was about to celebrate his 13th birthday, he asked the sister, Sister, can you bring me to the bridge where I was born? And they traveled. It was winter again. It was freezing cold again. And then they stopped in the middle of the bridge. And Michael said, Sister, may I be left alone? The sister backed off. And from a distance, Sister saw Michael throw his hat into the river. And then removed his jacket and threw it into the water and then removed his polo shirt and removed his shoes and removed his socks and removed his pants and removed his underwear and he was completely naked in that winter storm and the sister rushed and said Michael stop it you're going to die you're going to die stop it and when Michael could not endure it anymore he looked up to heaven as if talking to his mother and said, Mama, was this how cold you felt when you died to keep me warm? Mama, was this how cold you felt when you died to keep me warm? If we are here, all of us, it is because somebody has died to keep us warm to protect us from dying in the winter of our lives. I have three questions to reflect on the Gospel. Number one, who has been salt in your life? Who has been life in your life? Who, when you were in darkness, gave you hope? When life was bland and tasteless, gave you salt? Salt and light are symbols. Who has been the salt in your life? Who is the light in your life? Who has sacrificed? Who has died? So that may, you, you may be who you are right now. Second question. For whom have you been salt? For whom have you been light? Who is that person in your life whom you have given taste? Who is that person in your life who has been enlightened because of you? 
Who is that person in your life whose life became more meaningful because you entered into the fr friend's life? For whom have you been sold? For whom have you been light? Because if until now you have never been sold and light for anyone, your life is useless. If until now you have never been sold and light for anyone, your life is meaningless. You are living it for nothing. Because it is only in being sold and light for others that we can truly discover the meaning of our lives. The third question. Where, where is salt and light lacking? Where do they need salt? Where do they need light? And are you willing to go there? Or you have just chosen your comfort zone? I don't like to be disturbed. I will not disturb anyone. As long as I have three meals a day, I am safe and I am healthy. I don't care about you. That is a useless, meaningless life. Three questions to ask ourselves. Who has been salt and light in your life? To remember them is to give thanks to the Lord. For whom have you been salt and light? Do not ask to be remembered. Do not ask for thanks. Do not ask for appreciation. Just ask, what more can I give? What more salt can I give? What more light can I share? Third question, where do they need salt? Where do they need light? Where do they need meaning? Where do they, where do they need purpose? Where do they need deliverance from confusion? Where, did they, where do they need to hear, do not be afraid? Where do they need help? Am I willing to go? If you're willing to go, your life has meaning. If you're afraid to go, ask the Lord for courage and it will be given to you. Who has been your salt and light? For whom have you been salt and light? Where do they need salt and light? And are you willing to go?